Today in our 2016 Land Rover Evoque, we'll be having a look at our best hitch options. Two options here today, they are both class three hitches. On the top, we have the Kurt, part number C, 13128. And on the bottom, we have the draw tight, part number 75227. The biggest difference that we found between our two hitches that we have here today is capacities. Our Kurt hitch here at the top has a 600 pound tongue weight rating and a 4,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating. Whereas our draw tight hitch here at the bottom is a little bit higher. It has a 675 pound max gross tongue weight rating and a 4,500 pound max gross trailer weight rating. Neither one of these hitches that we have here are rated for the use with weight distribution. Now the draw tight hitch here with the higher max gross trailer weight rating is a better hitch than the Kurt if we're using it to tow a trailer that is closer to our Land Rover's max towing capacity. This is actually higher than our Land Rover's max towing capacity, whereas the Kurt is less. Now the next biggest difference we found as far as recreational use goes is that our draw tight hitch here has a secondary hole closer to the end of the receiver. And this is a J-pin stabilization device hole. What a J-pin stabilization device does is take away some of that annoying shake, play, and rattle out of what is inserted inside your receiver. Some bike racks and cargo carriers already have an anti-rattle device built into them, but if yours does not, you can use a J-pin stabilization device to take away that rattle that you'll hear going down the road. Also, while on the recreational aspect of things, our Kurt hitch here does require the use of a stabilization strap when we're using it for a non-trailer application. Our draw tight hitch, however, we don't need that stabilization strap. The next biggest difference we found is when it comes to towing, we found that the draw tight hitch here with the safety chain loops being further towards the front of the hitch makes it easier for us to attach our safety chain loops if we have a large pin or locking device securing our ball mount. If we look up at our Kurt hitch here, our pin hole is right in the middle of our safety chain loops. So if we have a large locking device that covers up over our safety chain loops here, it may make it difficult for us to hook our safety chain loops on because it's right where it needs to clip in at. Now, when it comes to the similarities of our two hitches here today, we found that they both look the same when they're installed on the vehicle. They're also both going to install on the vehicle in the exact same manner utilizing existing holes in the frame. There is no drilling required for either one of them. Now, if we have a look at our Land Rover that we have in here today, we have the Kurt hitch currently installed. Both of our hitches are gonna look just like this once they're installed. They're both gonna be completely hidden by our rear fascia. The only thing that we're gonna see hanging down is the actual receiver opening itself and our safety chain loops. They both offer a nice clean look underneath our vehicle and maintain a factory-like appearance. Now for a brief summary. As far as capacity goes, we found the draw tight hitch to be a superior hitch because of the fact it does have higher capacities. Now as far as recreational use goes, we found the draw tight hitch also to be a superior hitch here because of the added J-pin stabilization device hole and not needing the use of a stabilization strap. As far as towing capacity, we also found the draw tight hitch to be superior here because of the location of the hitch pin hole and the fact it does have higher capacities. As far as appearance goes, I would say both of our hitches are equal here today because they both look exactly the same once they're underneath the vehicle. And that completes our look at the best hitch options for the Land Rover Evoque. We hope you find this video helpful and informative in your hitch purchasing needs. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.